On Pond 10, on the north end of the Lee Metcalf National Wildlife Refuge, you can see this trumpeter swan pair and their youngsters. So as not to disturb them, our camera can only get so close. This is the fifth year in a row that they've pulled off a brood and it's the third year in a row that they've had uh, six cygnets. Refuge manager Tom Reed has been documenting this pair since they had their first brood of two cygnets five years ago. Five years ago I, I was ecstatic and this year I'm, I'm just as ecstatic. These are stock photos of what a cygnet looks like up close. So cute, but nature can break your heart. Last year of the six, I know two of them succumbed to avian influenza and a third died as well. So I'm hopeful that all six of these will, uh, will make it. Their parents are giving the new brood a good start, stirring up the essential protein they need to survive. Stirring up the vegetation, the submergent aquatic vegetation, they're stirring it up with their legs and then also they're pulling it up with their bills. And what they're doing is they're actually letting that vegetation float up and the young cygnets are pulling the invertebrates out of the vegetation. To help the swans out, Tom keeps close watch on the pond's depth. Spring runoff is flowing into the pond. He doesn't want water levels to be too deep. It makes that vegetation, the submergent vegetation, uh, a lot further away for the cygnets to get to. So we're just trying to make sure that it's a, a steady or slightly decreasing water column right now for the next three or four weeks. We're deep into June with plenty of water and lots of new life. For weeks now, waterfowl have been using Lee Metcalf for the refuge that it is. We've got young popping out everywhere. But they're hard to see. Parents are in protective mode. These adult cranes have hidden their young somewhere in this grass. Sandhill cranes with, with new colts. There were uh, three new sandhill cranes hatched on Tuesday as well. Common goldeneye broods, widgeon broods, gadwall broods, wood duck broods. We saw uh, great horned owl uh, sitting in the nest. This great horned owl finds excellent camouflage high in a cottonwood tree. There's at least nine osprey nests. This one's sitting really tight. I think she's probably got eggs that will hatch anytime soon. Tom takes us to an eroded bank off a slough of the Bitterroot River. Here, hundreds of bank swallows feed and nest. Where you've got both habitat types, and so the bank swallows need the, the insects, which are abundantly coming off of the water. Adult waterfowl are everywhere. Notice these pelicans hanging out at a good fishing spot. They share space with a swan until the swan decides to make its way across the pond. It's a nice little island that is a good loafing spot for whoever gets there first. This time of year, this stretch of refuge is lush with greenery. It's wet. We're in a really rich habitat area of the refuge with multiple tree canopies and, and shrub canopies, and so it's really good songbird habitat what we're driving through right now. To protect so, migratory species, really some of the refuge for, is uh, off limits songbirds. to the public, but this great blue heron stands prominent and content just outside the refuge office. Tom says the birds probably found a good place to hunt Colombian ground squirrels. The heron spent at least 20 minutes at the same spot before finally flying to a little island a few feet away. So everything's pulling off uh, whatever progeny they can, they can make a living doing. At 2,800 acres, the refuge is home to an especially wide variety of waterfowl and songbird species. The topography of the Bitterroot itself is diverse. The Bitterroot Mountains, the Sapphire Mountains, the Valley Floor, and then you've got the Bitterroot River and the River Slough all kind of smashed together with uplands right next to it. And so you have a lot of different habitat uh, niches within a small area. At Lee Metcalf, you get a bird's eye view of changing weather. On a June evening, lightning promised to show and delivered in dramatic fashion. But the rain and wind passed fairly quickly. In the morning, everything was calm. You know, days like this, you can't beat it. You can't beat it. Rain and shine, all of it, good weather for ducks. Kevin Mackey, NBC, Montana.